Hi there, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today we're going to be talking about my daily routine. A lot of people have approached me and emailed me and asked me a question, you know, how, how is it that I can work on consistency? I'm going to explain to you today what I, what I believe is one of the number one reasons that I've been able to be consistent not only in trading but in other areas of my life and, and successful in those areas and that's my daily routine. Now I'm just going to go over this uh, quickly today but if you want a bit more of an in-depth breakdown of what I do each and every day um, go to my homepage at stacyburktrading.com add your name and email to get the seven step daily routine for high performance traders it's essential knowledge for all traders in all markets and I go into a bit more depth into my daily routine and how you can maybe apply some of those strategies to your own daily routine and hopefully create some successful results for yourself as well I'm a firm believer that small daily small disciplines done daily pay big dividends and it's if you're not happy with the results that you're currently getting in your day-to-day -day life then you need to you need to change the daily habits that are producing those results so quickly number one you need to work on a vision of who it is that you want to become now for me part of me doing this blog is that it's allowed me to feel like I'm contributing and and giving back and also at the same time helping me really crystallize and maintain a focus on on the trading um, I've been following the markets for 15 years and I think one of the biggest things that traders struggle with is consistency now one of the things is that when you create a vision and you're working towards something that has a, a greater purpose than just the outcome of individual trades I believe that it will allow you to maintain your resiliency and your focus over the long term about sticking to your trading system and understanding that trading itself is about managing risk trading is a vehicle for allowing you to create uh, other opportunities in your life and perhaps uh, live and contribute at a much higher scale than what you're currently doing so if you haven't done so already I would encourage you to in the next 24 hours work on a vision of who it is exactly that you want to become and as your learning and as your education continues that may change and you know an affirmation that I used to use in, in the beginning is that I am so happy and grateful that I have, perf I have perfected my vision and funny enough as time's gone on and, and as my learning and, and I've unlocked other, uh, other areas of, of learning in certain things it's really helped me to crystallize where it is that I want to go and that's allowed me to really create a lot more uh, stability and consistency in my trading number two you want to create a daily routine now for me that that daily routine starts the night before and in that what I do is typically I go to bed quite early uh, I'm in bed usually by nine o'clock each night um, I have three young children and and on that years ago somebody told me don't try to trade with a two-year-old in your house and at the time I didn't really think much of that because my oldest child who's now 10 wasn't was only about a year old but now I have three children all under the age of 10 and um, our house can get quite chaotic and I, and I love that because we have three very full of life um, very busy uh, kids but one of the things about uh, working on your vision is that in order for you to maintain that focus and have the right intention what I typically do is I start it the night before and what I will do is before I go to bed I put my phone on airplane mode and on my phone I have 10 or 12 images and affirmations and I will flip through those and say them to myself before I go to bed now oftentimes people will watch the news or they'll read the paper or they'll watch TV before they go to bed and you know I'm not really interested in politics death or destruction uh, or uh, politics or, or any other types of uh, things that are going on in the world because they're not serving me uh, to, to fulfill gr my greater purpose and my vision so what I do want to do <clears throat> is I want to program my supercomputer 
and my subconscious brain to be working while I'm sleeping. So over the next five or six hours, it's processing that information that I put into my brain prior to going to sleep. And so I create that intention before I go to sleep that I'm working on my vision. I'm so happy and grateful I've perfected my vision. Now, the next morning, as I arise, my phone is still on airplane mode, and I'll do that one more time. So as I get up, I go to the kitchen, I'll scroll through my phone, I'll do my affirmations. What I do next is I have a large glass of water. I, I probably have about a liter of water first thing in the morning with a bit of lemon in it. I need to hydrate, hydrate my body. I think uh, in general people are probably mildly dehydrated most of the time and that can affect how you feel uh, and your thought processes as well. The next thing that I do is I work on my mindset and each day um, I usually will head out the door early with the dogs. I've got two, two dogs. I take them down to the park uh, and that might be at 4.30. I get up quite early. Um, years of ice hockey, I've always been an early riser. I find for me that that's the most productive time of the day. So I'll head out, I'll go down to the park and often what I'll do is I may, um, while I'm down there, either walk uh, or do some exercise while I'm down there but I'm, but I'm plugged in for 15 minutes to half an hour with some mindset training and that might be technical uh, uh, aspects, it might be an audio book, um, it might be uh, some um, videos that I've transpired onto MP3 uh, from my trading material, but I'm constantly reinforcing information in my brain of, of where I want to go and I want to work on cultivating uh, staying focused. Now, um, most people, if they're not plugged in, the natural default mechanism of the brain is usually negative and that's part of our reticular activating system and it's designed to keep us safe um, and it's also designed to keep us where we're at because that helps to protect the species and keep us from from any danger well unfortunately to be successful in trading and, and many other areas of life you can't stay stagnant and expect to progress so immediately upon rising I have my water I do, uh, and I do my mindset training. I typically then will exercise, and then immediately I want to get nutrition back into my body. Now, oftentimes um, that might be some fruit and some greens. Um, that might be some eggs, uh, some a protein shake with some fresh uh, organic fruit. But generally speaking, I think that most people are um, deficient in, in nutrients and defi deficient in vegetables, fruits, and minerals. So I'm always constantly trying to feed my body with the best ingredients. And immediately what, what effect I think that has is that a minimum of 15 to 20 minutes of exercise a day helps to activate your physiology. It stimulates your metabolism. It helps your immune system. It activates norepine norepinephrine, uh, brain-derived neurotropic factor, and other feel-good chemicals. I, I think it helps to heighten our awareness and our creativity and it, it helps again to set my intention for the day to be starting starting my day in the best possible framework and physical condition so that I'm, I'm ready uh, to uh, go about my day feeling at 100%. Next is um, I want to accelerate my learning. So if you haven't read the book Mal um, Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell, um, Malcolm Gladwell talks about the 10,000 hour rule and if you can accelerate your learning to the 10,000 hour mark, essentially you become an, an expert authority in that material. Now over the last 15 years I've easily spent on an average probably two to three hours a day, almost every single day, studying the markets. And what I, what I will typically do each day is I will go through randomly, um, mainly on my end of day model, um, I will scroll back to any, any pair just randomly to any date over the last 15 years and I'll go through and execute uh, between 10 and 20 end of day trades. Now I keep um, a little paper record of that in my journaling which we'll talk about next where I, I just I'm constantly reinforcing my basic rules and I'm going through those and I'm executing those trades as I would in the live day to day market and I'm putting myself into that headspace. I'm just placing the orders and the trades and then assessing and monitoring the outcomes. I want to see the consistency in my ability to execute that system flawlessly because my main focus is to focus on the trading process, not the individual outcomes of those trades. 
Um, the big thing with that is that journaling and keeping track of that allows me to, um, if I can, if I can uh, keep track of that and measure it, um, I can therefore then monitor my performance and if need be, start to uh, change or work on any, any changes that need to be applied. With the journaling, I like to keep a little mental uh, journal that I'll put down in my day timer each day, uh, headspace, I keep track of uh, uh, eight to ten pairs and I just looking for some basic setups. I'm usually only looking for two to three really great trades a week on my end of day system. And, and sometimes I don't get any of those. Typically I will get one or two really, really perfect setups on my system. Um, and again, those models are designed for me to just keep track of my simple model uh, and execute and I'll put in how I'm feeling on the day uh, what my what I saw in the market so then and the next day if I if I have a, a pair that's made a big move and I've missed that trade or whatever I just go back and I look at my journal and I want to make sure that I'm just taking my time for that 15 to 20 minutes and going through and keeping track of that and it allows me to just calmly remind myself I'm looking for the the one or two really uh, good setups and trades that fit my model so journaling is important because it allows you to just sort of uh, calm yourself down, put some things into perspective, um, keep track of your mental state, and um, keep it in writing. So then next is 30-day goals. A little while ago I read an article about Jerry Seinfeld in Forbes or Business Inc. And at, at that time when they conducted the interview, it was estimated that at the peak of Seinfeld's career, he was earning in the area of about $140 million a year. And he had a young comedian approach him. And he said, Mr. Seinfeld, what can I do? I'm just breaking into the industry. What's, what's one suggestion that you could give me to help me be successful? And he told the young comedian to get a, a calendar. And he said, every day, write jokes. Write a joke in that calendar. And every day that you do, put an X through that date. And he said, do that every day. And the young comedian said, okay, fantastic. That's great. Um, how long do I do that for? And Seinfeld said to him, you don't ever stop doing it. You do it every single day. And if you want to be the best at something, you don't ever quit working at it. You constantly need to be working on your goals. And so what I will typically do is have five or six uh, attainable goals, but a little bit outside of my comfort zone, perhaps each month. And I'll see how I've, what I've what I've done by the end of the month and I'll set five new ones and I think you need to constantly be raising the bar on yourself and that might be involving discipline or it might be involving exercise and nutrition you might need to do some more testing of your trading system it might be about unplugging yourself from a lot of the negativity and and stuff that's going on around you in order to be a high performer especially in the trading markets you have to remember one thing you're competing against probably just some of the smartest people in the world, some of the best educated in the world. Some of, the, uh, some of these people have been elite performers in other areas, in other careers, in sports, in academics, professions. They're probably very hard workers and they probably hate to lose. Um, they, and they may even have better access to information and equipment than you. So if you want to compete against the best, you have to put yourself into training and preparing to be the best and if you want to have consistency and success in this industry I'll suggest you to take some of that some of those ideas and create your own daily high performance routine now for some of you you might not want to do it in the morning I typically get up around 4:30. I've done that for years probably because of my ice hockey days some of you might be um, night night people but what I'm going to suggest to you is that the early morning is the most controllable time of your day. And as the day gets going on, you probably start to have other things that come into your day and all of a sudden your day is uncontrollable. Um, so you might come along and say, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll exercise later when I get home. And as soon as I get a break, I'm gonna have some water. Um, I'll get to my journal later, uh, later tonight when I'm done my dinner. Uh, I'll, I'll set my goals tomorrow. So, 
The reason why I think this creates consistency and will help you create more success is that I don't miss a day. And if you can create a routine that works for you and it works around your, your environment and, and the conditions that you've got to deal with every day, I think it will help you as well. If you like this video, if you found it of, of some assistance, I'd love to have some of your feedback. I uh, appreciate your comments. Um, if you want to follow some more of my blog articles, go to stacyburktrading.com. I, I create updates on almost a daily basis. Uh, always trade in your, your own best interest, manage the downside, and may the markets go with you. I'm Stacy Burke. Hi traders, I hope you found today's video interesting and informative and I hope it gave you some valuable insights into making your trading simpler and more productive. If you haven't done so already, please come by my blog stacyburktrading.com, sign up for my free audio mp3, the 7 step daily routine for high performance traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets and is designed to help traders to master the market with disciplined confidence and a winning mindset. Please like this or share it on Facebook and I would love to have some feedback. Any questions or comments please put below. May the markets go with you and always trade in your own best interest.